Hi guys, welcome back to Roto's War, the original, playing as the Julii. Now, last episode, we actually got quite a lot done, uh, taking Deva. Uh, I don't know whether we took Battle of Midorum last episode, but um, we took... We can't press on the map because we've got this battle open. Uh, we had a couple of brutal battles at Artaxata, um, and we took Hatra, where we're now moving on from. Um, we also took... The midi in kind of a messy battle and Manius died, but we are now going to be fighting this end turn battle uh, at Cordoba against these guys. It looks like it actually might be quite tough thinking about it, especially on very hard difficulty. I'm hoping the peeler like kind of shreds these guys. Um, we're going to try to use the cavalry to get rid of the warhounds. I might get my cavalry outside of the uh, settlement to start with but we'll see see how big the settlement is and everything kind of just want to defend the gates they've only got two rams and i'm sure we can defend those two areas if they try and charge in if we get our cavalry out and charge them from behind we should break them so that's the tactic anyway we'll see we'll see whether it works it might be nero victor's uh, last one song or whatever he's called face. the omens may say that we face disaster but I choose to think differently. Can any true man do otherwise? The Spanish are worthy of respect, but not fear. They are only men, and men can be killed. They seem keen to throw their lives away in an assault. Well, it would only be polite to send them to the afterlife. I have never lost a battle against these people. Why should I start losing now with men such as you at my command? Another victory is at hand! There is no shame in fear! There is only shame in letting fear rule you! Try not to look scared, and you'll find bravery in your heart! Well, that looks like that's it. <laughs> Quite a short one. Um, right. Interesting. So, I'm guessing they're going to try to put that there. Hoping it gets shot up a bit. That here. So let's just do this. We might as well put these guys on fire at will because um, I want to fire at the naked fanatics because they have no armor. So yeah, group you guys together. Uh, guys will fire at will as well. Uh, yep, you don't need to run away. Of course, you can fire at will. Right, generals. Hmm, I don't know what we're going to do here. Yeah, I don't like the warhounds because they do have the ability to kind of shred your troops if you're not careful. Alright, let's go. Cool. I'm hoping one of the rams gets shot to pieces. That would be good. That would be awesome. Let's go kill their round shields. Uh, I forgot. Her is it Herius? This this might be Herius. I, I can't remember. Herius has a lot of experience, so he should be quite a good unit. Let's have a look. Yeah, 17 and 28 defense. Wow. Yep, yeah, that's good. They want to try and charge us with those naked uh, thingies. Why does it keep doing that? Yeah. Okay, looks like both the rams have reached the side. Um, what are they going to be sending in? Iberian infantry. Uh, we'll put you guys... How are you not firing? Come on. Charge them. Right, we'll get you guys in position. Awesome. I can't wait. Uh, it's so close now until they until it comes out the uh, remastered. So I can't wait for that. Let's smash this round shield cavalry. If we destroy, if we kill the general, uh, we should find the rest of this battle quite easily. 
Come on. The enemy general flees. Press forward so the spirit of his army is broken too. Keep on going. Oh, look, the dogs. So, like, the, the dogs are routing, but they're still, uh... Come on, what are you doing? I want them to engage. Okay, that's the general gone, so they should be upset now. Get them, get rid of them, hounds. They're supposed to have, like, they're supposed to have run away, so I don't know. Uh... These naked fanatics, yeah, concerned that the general has left the battlefield. They're steady, apparently. They, they took a lot of damage in that charge. They don't have any armor. That is the problem for them. <laughs> See, they have really good attack, but they have no armor. So, you know, what are you going to do? How tired are we? Winded, winded. I'm thinking about potentially splitting up the generals here. So we can send one to the right, one to the left. He's still doing that. I was going to say, it's taken them ages. But I didn't know another war cry is taking that long. Yeah, we should be able to fire upon them now. With fury. Get the generals up here. Yeah, we want nice and thin. Oh my god, they've already broken. Yeah, uh, we will split them up then. Let's get rid of these guys. See, they, they might do quite well against our... Uh, especially on this difficulty. Might do quite well. Yeah, let's surround them. We, we don't need to be in guard mode anymore. Oh, that's the, all of them gone. Right, you get into the back of him here, and that's the battle done. That should be anyway. Yeah, but they are taking damage because... You know, they're not terrible units. They get a lot of bonuses as well with the, the higher difficulty levels. Is one of them gone. Ah, the enemy it's army all gone. is in flight. Pursue them and drive them from the battlefield. Uh can you actually like kill these guys, please? <laughs> yep, there we are. Very nice. That's just one bloke. Uh Oh yeah, that we've absolutely slaughtered these guys over here. Uh, we might as well get this guy in the way. Right, come on. Uh, yeah, the, 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 they might make it out, honestly. There we are, very nice. Should have destroyed, should have destroyed the army. How much have died? Yeah, 95%. Just got to keep doing that just in case they get experience. Very good, 49. Mainly these guys. We can continue constructing Cordoba then. See, Spain has quite a lot of armies, but... As long as we don't have bull warriors, it should be okay. I thought this might happen. Yeah, they, they retreat that way. Oh. Ah, so annoying. I hate the, the amount of rebels. That is the one thing about this game that's annoying. Is the amount of rebels that just spawn everywhere. Get that in there. Plugged in them. Wow. Finally able to upgrade some of these, uh, some of those small settlements. Veteran Centurion, that's a really good trait. Still 56 though. Uh... Yeah, let's keep on going. Let's get some archers in here. Because we need to take on these two settlements if we can. So I think these guys will have their hands full with those with those uh, Spanish over there. Um, yeah, over here we need to build ships. I think four, six will be enough. <laughs> Probably, most likely, more than, most likely be fine. Uh, we need to make sure that these guys are okay. Ah, oh. there's literally nowhere we can. Oh. Gonna have to. 
join up and just hope that the rebels don't come after us. We'll try to go around this way, maybe. Where's... Okay, is that the rebel fleet? Because we should destroy them. Yep, there we are. Very nice. Let's come over here. Is there any other rebel fleets? I'm hoping not. They seem to know. They seem to not have fog of war as well. The uh, AI. Oh wow, wow, wow! This is bad. Don't think it will rebel though. And with that done and this repaired, it should go back to being okay. Ready to sail. Um, that Byzantium fleet needs to move out of the way. If it doesn't, we could just attack it. <laughs> Um, you go stand up here. Uh, just get stood ready to take on Thessalonica. How are we looking on that second army? Yeah, cool. Yeah, everything's going up, going okay. Uh, another guy. Oh, he's quite good. Not as good as uh, Lucius. Mm, everyone here has got their uh, upgrades now, so that army's ready. You're going to take on those guys. Imperator. Orders, General. Uh, let's get rid of Orders. you. Get you in there as the new commander, because you're younger. General. Um, right, what do you need? More infantry, which we're getting slowly. More cavalry, which we're getting slowly. Yeah, cool. Um, and three more archers. And you'll be ready. To be fair, when, them, when those two are done, we should be able to take out everyone else. Uh, Cordoba. Yeah, let's keep on recruiting. Uh, don't worry about those peasants. We'll get peasants at the end. Yeah. Right. Let's take... Decius the Angry. No. Valerius Urbicus. Yeah, because you're only 21. Let's take you. Peasants in there. Um, thinking that'll be the best option. Put Decius in here. And let's go. Oh, two, uh, two generals, bodyguards, a warband, and an Iberian infantry. Looks like it's cavalry spam time. <laughs> we just need to kill those war, uh, those generals. Uh, we'll try use the archers, but I. Th I think it'll be too fast paced for that. So let's hear. This is his first speech I think we've heard. Romans, countrymen, today is a day for brave deeds. Today is a proud day to be Roman. There stands the Spanish horde, ready to fight. Today, I think we should send many of them to the afterlife. to the battlefield by mewling infants instead of leaders. Their position is hopeless. The count of their troops pitiful. But remember that the base curve still has a bite. They are strong in cavalry, and this will require inventive thought today, as we lack enough spearmen to counter them. I have never yet lost a fight against these men. I have no intention of starting today. So together, we will gain another victory. The seer has been consulted, but his vision is clouded. Today we make our own destiny then. And now, to arms! Let us harden our hearts and think of Rome and all we can do for her. Then we will do our duty to Roman honor! All we can do to get Rome, honestly. Don't really care about doing anything for the Senate right now. <laughs> um... Oh wait, we have a lot of archers, so let's use them. The Roman archers are shite though, as, I, as I've said about a million times before. Um, these guys, if we can, let's try to use these mercenaries to fight. Prefer that than having to retrain any anyone. Uh, you guys go over here. Right, they're like right at the back of the battlefields, which is not great. Yeah, cool, let's go there. Uh, that is a very steep hill. I should have probably looked at that. Um, we'll come over this way. It's a bit shit attacking up this hill, but they shouldn't be strong enough to beat us, so... Archer. 
Honestly, let's run these uh, run these archers and cavalry. Cavalry for the support of the archers. Um, long range missiles. Mm, yeah, that might be a bit too far, especially uphill. But we'll see. Oh no, they're coming! They're coming! Uh, as soon as we can fire at them, I'm going to halt these guys. Looks like where we're going might be the right place. Probably, probably. Where are the cavalry? Yeah. Let's move them up closer. They don't have any missile troops, so... Yeah, they don't have missile troops, so they're just going to have to take this. It looks they probably will charge very soon. No, no, they're just running. I'm surprised they've not withdrawn from this, honestly. Uh, let's see whether we can get here. Let's get these guys behind them as well. Running. Uh, is that them going to withdraw there? Uh, oh, are they just repositioning? So they don't want to leave the hill, but also they don't want to get shot by my uh, archers, so... It looks like we're still too far away. I think it's the uphill issue. Right, let's get uh, everyone into uh, sort of a better position here. In case they do decide to charge all the way down. Surely they'll... Uh, yeah, here they come. Uh, archers. Get you away. Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. Run, run, run! Run, for God's sake, you idiots. Get these guys. Surrounded. Fucking idiots. I literally told them to run, and they... <laughs> They decided to stand there for another five seconds. Yeah, there's the blue general dead. The enemy general is killed. Fear makes a home in our enemy's hearts. I don't care about the Siberian infantry or the warhounds. I just want to kill this other general. Quick, you should be faster, Equites. Wait, where is he? Oh, they're both dead. Oh yeah, they're both dead. That's fine then. Uh, kill those warhounds. Get rid of them warhounds. Uh. The gods be praised! The enemy's hearts are full of fear and now they- You guys, stop firing. Yeah, what? Like, the war- so- okay. The warhounds are such a weird thing in this game, I like, because the, the number is the number of, of, of humans that they have, not dogs. The day is ours! But then some of the dogs still attack and then some run away. See, like, that one was still attacking, but loads of them still ran away. I wonder how they coded that, because, yeah, interesting. Those bloody idiot archers. <laughs> Why don't you just run? I don't care about their armies. Really, I just want to get to that settlement. Keep coming round. Right, let's move Captain Numerius. What's this guy's name? Urbicus, right. We've got to remember that it's Urbicus. Valerius Urbicus or something. These guys, fortunately, we can't do anything. Uh, wait, is London the... Um... Yeah, like, can we recruit early legionaries? Uh, can we recruit archers? I don't think we can recruit archers. Um... Yeah, let's keep going. Let's make sure they stay happy. Let's get the arena. Because we could bring these guys back for retraining. They don't really need it. Can we recruit the Roman cavalry? That's the one that, that needs it. Yes. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, fortunately, we can't recruit like peasants anywhere. Not enough population. We have ruined the population. So you stay in there. Um, seventy percent—that's fine. It's not going to riot. You go into Londinium. We might go and smash that. That's literally nothing. 
just with the cavalry. Uh, honestly, you could probably beat that just with the general bodyguard, but take the cavalry just in case. Elysia is looking good. Really good. So what do we want to do over here in Battle of um, Right. How many urban cohorts have we got? Right, let's, let's, let's arrange it. So... Let's uh, do that. Why did that destroy the... <laughs> That's really annoying. That's a Praetorian. So... We got any other urbans? It's just one. Hmm. Well, that one and a uh, half of one. Yeah, there we are. That's better. We get the 82 in there. Um, over here, let's, let's just move some experience around and then we can sort of send back small units. Yeah, that's it. So you swap out for that 13 unit. I think. <laughs> There we are, and you four as well. The archers, obviously, we can't do anything about. Hmm, we need one more then. So one of these, uh, we'll keep that urban cohort with them. These two should go back for retraining after we've uh, trained that town guard. Awesome. You're literally just a chariot unit, so I'm not bothered. Do we go after Germania now? Or do we bring them? I don't think we need to bring them down for Rome, honestly. Um, let's get that in there. So, yeah, let's go after Germania. How many are we going to die here? Zero. Good, good, good. Ah, oh, this is a this is a Britain there. Maybe that maybe they don't have this. If they don't, that's that's good for us. Do we want to send this guy north? Uh, there was an army going towards uh, Katias or Artaxata. Um, so maybe I'm not sure. We need to fill. What do we need? It looks like we've got a lot of cavalry here. So let's get one more infantry. Keep retraining. Um, Katias, Katias is training troops as well, so might have a another little army. Mazaka, Tarsus, you're unhappy. Oh, I think the two places that are really unhappy are going to be happy next turn because they're raiding into cities. You bring that. Obviously, we moved these guys, didn't we? Yep. Yeah, cool. Uh, moved you, yep. There's another guy over here, yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna lead the other army. Oh, we should have got the blacksmith in there. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Yeah, we're looking good. Um, right, is there anywhere else we can go? I mean, we could attack this here. Oh, they have bull warriors, though. I'm not really bothered. They can take that. If they take that settlement, it's not a huge loss to us, honestly. Uh, Mediolanium. Hmm. What do we do? Uh, probably more money. Because we, we actually have started losing money right now. Probably because of the huge recruitment drive we have done recently. That, that reminds me as well. We should take a look. Um... We should take a look at our faction ranking compared to everyone else. I'm assuming we're quite a lot better than everyone else right now. Um, unless, well, the Roman factions might have recruited a lot of troops, but I'm guessing that it's generally trash. Let's just keep building the highways. Wait, was that upgradable? Why does it tell me, unless, I don't know whether I'm missing them, but I swear it's not told me quite a few times. The, that um, Pergamum. Let's see. Yeah, more roads. Actually, we need public order here. Yeah, there's nothing that will provide public order. Let's go with that. That'll that'll increase it by another 
five ten percent. Ankira, Ankira is just the trashest town of them all. I swear, in every single game I play, whenever I take Ankira, it's a town. <laughs> like no matter who's had it and for how long. Uh, this will provide more quicker. Uh, that's not good. I'm hoping those peasants will, will, will sort that out. Maybe just do that. Okay, that has sorted it slightly. When it goes red again. Yeah, is that 70? I know it's 65. It goes instantly from 65 to 75. That's fine. Palmyra. Damascus. Hmm. Yeah, looking good with that, but we'll build that just in case. Petra, go for money over here, Trier, Tiny, Nepte, yeah, rubbish. Hey, where is Nepte? Isn't Nepte this down here? Uh, Nepte? Maybe, oh, we'll, we'll go back, we'll go over there, see where this guy is. Canaius Julius. Um, Salamis. Hmm. Looks okay. Do that. Bostra. Ibaricum. Yep, nope. Batavodorum. Demidi. Keep making Demidi happy. Deva. Nope. Even with all this lore that we get from these guys, it's kind of tough. Keep everyone happy. Yeah, this is Nepte. You should not be in there. You should be leading this army. So, bring you this way. Um, so, yeah, you guys are moving. You guys are moving. You are still retraining. Yeah, cool. Right, let's end the turn and see what happens. There is a lot, a large, a large portion of... Uh, Brutii over here in Greece. Well, not Greece, like Dacia. Um, Byzantium. Around here. Look at all those. I'm guessing it's just trash armies, though. I'm hoping. <laughs> if that is just full of Praetorian cohorts, we are screwed. Town grows. That is good, getting the towns growing. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Look at that. Faction announcements. We've had a few more kids. Cool. Recruitment. Going well. Diplo info. Ah, we were allied to Scythia, but it looks like the uh, Brutii have taken that alliance into their own hands. <laughs> we didn't get attacked by rebel navies uh, during that turn, so that's good. It's a long way away. We'll, we'll keep this navy next to it. Just in case. Um, yep, you're done. How far away are we from the next uh, next army being ready? Quite close, honestly. I have a lot of cavalry in it. Don't think we need all that cavalry. Uh, it's the only thing we can recruit in these places. Uh, yeah, keep going with that. Good thing with early legionary cohorts is like you can retrain them anywhere really. I don't care about those rebels, especially seen as they're not even in our territory. Will be our territory soon, but where did they take those massive armies? They're going over to the east. They might come up and attack this way, but I, if we just hold off the western side, that's fine. Such a long way to, to get to uh, Asturica. Yeah, let's keep on training. If we can get like a you know like a 15 stack, a good 15 stack should be able to take on these guys, especially when they've got town militia and stuff. Four more turns until that goes. I think they will think that they're quite strong here because they've got the bull warriors. Bull warriors are very good, very underrated unit in my opinion. Pretty strong. Um, Alright, yep. Yeah. I don't care about this guy. He's just by himself. Attack! 
They might, they might sally forth here, which would be quite funny, because, yeah, it's, it's a trash army. They have chariots, that's the only good thing they have. They ain't going to stand up to urban cohorts and Praetorian cohorts, though. Deva's still looking okay. Um, get you guys out of here. Get you in. And let's retrain everything we can. Uh, we should to make this slightly easier. Yeah, there we are. And what do we need? We need this guy. Yeah, cool. Uh, Avaricum's still okay. That's good. Move these guys. Move them. Uh, move them. Nice. Uh, where has that army gone? Uh, are they are they going? Oh, I thought it was the, I thought it was the bold. Then that'd be cool. But the brave. That's also pretty cool. Looks like a trash army. But if we can sandwich them, that would be a very nice sandwich. Very nice. Very tasty. Looks like we need... Honestly, we need more infantry in this. So, let's get one of those. Uh, nah. Let's leave it. Let's get the peasants. <laughs> leave it and just get the peasants. <laughs> um, yeah, this is just like a ragtag army. So... Let's send over all of you guys to join it. So, you're on the way up. You're on the way across. We're nearly ready for the New Age army. How are we looking in terms of armies over here? This second army. Infantry-wise. Get all these guys out. Infantry-wise... Yeah, maybe done. Yep, that's a top row full of infantry. Um, archers. Wait, have we only got three archers? Maybe. Yeah, it looks like we only have three archers. Um, right, and then... So we need one more space for archers. Then I think we're done, honestly, with this army. So, we can attack the SPQR. <laughs> I do want to get my uh, troops landed, though, first. Because I don't want to get taken out by the... Uh, um, by the... Uh, what do you call them? By the Brutii Navy. That would be horrible. That would be... <laughs> if one of those lovely armies that I've built gets destroyed by the Brutii Navy, I'll be very upset. Um... Right, this navy should be ready to go next turn when all those guys have been retrained. We'll, we'll sail them around. We'll have uh, even more ships as well. Awesome, awesome. It's going well, going well. Um, just checking. This guy, yeah, he needs one cavalry, which he can get. And then one archer unit, which is going to get there. Brilliant. And that is another brilliant army. We just need to retrain them all there to get their, their armor upgrades. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, cool. Uh, Lepsis Magna. Uh, right. Yeah, let's do the building, and then we'll end the turn. I don't think there's any battles we need to do this time, so... Oh, did I... No, oh, here we are. Retium, yeah, we're done. Suggestica. Let's get those roads. Palmer. Uh... Like, none of this helps, but we'll get that just in case. Larissa. Yep, do the... Uh... Armor upgrade. Rhodes. Rhodes is really unhappy. Uh, we can put games up if they start to uh, start to rebel. rebel. Lepsis Magna. Yep. Do that. That's fine. Sardis. Now is Sardis unhappy still? Oh, they're not. They're not incredibly pleased, but <laughs> they're okay. As long as they're as long as they're not gonna rebel, it's it doesn't matter. Um, right, 
Kyrene, Nicomedia, let's go for the market, um, Elysia, yeah we're running out of money here, but once we've taken some of those Roman settlements and exterminated them, that'll be big money, uh, Mazika, that, uh, Alexandria, Alexandria's unhappy, yeah and they're on monthly races already as well, let's go with daily games. <laughs> Tarsus, how are you doing? Oh, you're okay now. Thebes. Um, Thebes. Um, hmm. What are we going to do here? I'll just go for the market. Cordoba. Cool, let's see. Cordoba is just always unhappy, so let's just keep on going with the uh, happiness that we can there. Samuel Reva. I mean, you, yeah, that's fine. Mong uh, Mogontiacum. I always say that wrong. wrong. Uh, Sardis. Yep, yeah, that's retraining after they were very unhappy. <laughs> um, yeah, cool. That's end of the Oh, did I forget to move that guy? That's going. Yeah, I thought they might come and attack us here. They have experienced some of these guys, but they're, they're, they're beaten. They are, like, experience in this game is strong, but um, I still don't think this will be an issue. Let's see what these guys have. Yeah, like, in terms of elite units, they have, like, one chosen swordsman. They have their... their, their their, their chariots. Chariots versus legionary cavalry. I think chariots still win. These light chariots, they should have no problem. If we can shoot at the uh, at the, the chariots, that should be nice. So they're taking here. They're going to be either right hand side, probably. Looks like they're going to be right hand side. Or oh, right corner, maybe. Nah, nah, right hand side, I think. We need to kill the first army quickly. And it, it is the weaker because it doesn't have those generals' bodyguards in, so should be okay. If we can, if we can do that, then we can turn and fire arrows at the chariots. Their faces may be painted blue, but their red guts spill as easily as those of other men. That army comprises a full quarter of our foes' warriors. Is that the best that they can do? These old women, beardless youths, and craven dogs? I think we will grow weary of killing today. We stand on the defensive today. Let them wear themselves out against our battle line. They have a slight advantage in numbers, but our good spirits should counter that quite handily. Yet, for all that, one of you is worth more than any number of them. Skills, valor, and honor still count for something in war. I have never lost a battle against these people. Why should I start losing now, with men such as you at my command? Another victory is at hand! Now, battles are only drills with some blood splashed around. March forward, and the enemy will quail! I have won many great victories for Rome. Be strong in that truth, and let this be one more. March on, and know that our victory is assured as long as we live and die like true Romans! Hi guys, Zach from the future here. <laughs> now, I may have been a massive dum-dum here and forgot to turn my microphone on after this speech. So, very sorry for that. But, unfortunately, I did record another episode uh, straight after this one without checking, which is my fault. So, sorry about that, guys. Um, however, you will get the battle. It is a very good battle. And then there's a bit of building afterwards, which... Depends on what you want to do, you can skip through. Obviously, you can't hear me speaking over it. So, I just wanted to say sorry for that, guys. Uh, thank you for watching, guys, and I hope you enjoyed. Back to the video. Go 
The enemy have brought up reinforcements in a pathetic attempt to save themselves. The enemy general is killed! Fear makes a home in our enemy's hearts! Be praised! The enemy's hearts are full of fear and now they flee!
lies dead at your feet. Now is the time to strike hard at his grieving subjects. Enemy show their true virtue. They are not soldiers, only frightened rabbits running from our men. This is a heroic victory, worthy of Roman arms!
Aye, Captain. Aye, Captain. Aye, aye, Captain. Out of move, sir. General. March! Sir! Orders? Sir! March! Sir! Forward! Imperator! March! Sir! Move out! Out of move, sir! Ready to sail! Imperator! Ready to sail! Yes, Captain! Moves depleted, sir! Ready to sail! Set sail! Ready to sail! Ready to sail! Set sail! Disembark! Imperator! Ready to sail! Yes, Captain! Sir! Sir! Onward! Daryl, sir! Forces. Out of move, sir. Daryl. General. Imperator. Sir. 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 Engage the enemy. Imperator. Forward. Moves depleted, sir. General! Ready to sail! Aye, Captain? Yes, Captain! General! Prepare for battle! Settlement under siege, sir! Orders! March! Orders! Onward! 